With all the grim news going on in the world, the renewable energy industry has some great news that might put a smile on your face. One of the small limitations of clean energy grid is the rare but real intermediate outages of multiple sources of power. Geothermal is impractical in many areas of the world. The wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't shine at night. It does during the rainy or cloudy days and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The Holy Grail is figuring out how to store excess energy that is not consumed when it is produced and use it when that energy source is not available. I recently read an article that claimed the Powerwall 2 has no competition. I found that interesting given the huge amount of emerging energy storage companies hitting the market. Zonin is Tesla's biggest competition. Zonin is a German battery manufacturer who claims to be the first residential energy storage company in the world and has released their eighth generation Zonin battery back in February. So you're probably thinking to yourself, who the hell is Zonin? So before we go on, let's recap. While Zonin might be a little known in the US, they are actually a major player in Europe. And when I say major, I mean they sold more batteries in quarter one of 2016 than Tesla. On top of that, they count General Electric among their investors, raising over 30 million to expand their market share in the US. All in all, they have sold over 16,000 batteries worldwide and expect to see that number surge next year. So what is it about the zone and battery that is driving so many people worldwide to choose it over the competition? On face value, it doesn't always make sense. While the rest of the market races to the bottom, dropping their prices left and right, Zonin has remained one of the most expensive batteries in the market. So let's take a closer look at how the Zonin sizes up. Batteries are confusing, and sometimes the upfront specs don't do the product justice, which is why many people haven't even considered the Zonin battery. But I'm going to show you why the Zonin is surprisingly more competitive than what you think. So let's take a look at the Tesla Powerwall first. The Tesla Powerwall's advantages are clear. First of all, the damn thing is huge, with a capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. That means you can power the essentials overnight relatively easily, especially in the summer when the sun comes up at 4 a.m. Beyond that, the output sits at 5 to 7 kilowatts, which means that you could put your battery into overdrive and discharge it entirely within only three hours. This can be particularly good for discharging to the grid during peak hours. Another advantage is that it is scalable. So you can have up to 121 kilowatt hours or nine power walls of storage if you so desired. Now this feature sounds great, but is also a disadvantage. In some cases, because you can't stack your smaller amounts of storage, either you get 13.5 kilowatt hours or you get 27 kilowatt hours. When comparing storage capacity, the Zonin battery starts at a 4 kilowatt hour, or one third the size of the Tesla, and it can be scaled up to 16 kilowatt hours, which Zonin's whole model revolves around smaller and more nimble batteries. You're probably asking yourself right now, how can it possibly compete? Well, I'm getting to that in a second, but let's look at a couple other stats. Zonin has an output of 4 to 8 kilowatts. But for a battery with only 4 to 16 kilowatt hours of storage, that isn't that bad. However, by now you're probably thinking that this, this thing is irredeemable. Not so. It's time to look beyond the numbers. Zonin's cycle life is ahead of the game. The reason the Zonin can stay competitive, or one of many, is that while it has a small entry level capacity, it has a much longer lifetime. Keep in mind, both Tesla and Zonin offer a 10 year warranty. But the number that matters is the cycles that the battery can readily perform before deteriorating. Zonin is warrantied for 10,000 cycles, whereas the Tesla Powerwall is not. That means the Zonin can cycle up to three times a day, whereas the Tesla cannot. Do you see what I'm getting at? The Zonin battery can effectively store and then discharge approximately 12 kilowatt hours a day. 
That's of course with the entry level four kilowatt hour battery. For those of you who've dug through Tesla's website and are about to cry bloody murder over the fact that Tesla says it offers in unlimited cycles for 10 years, it's time to take a second look. Tesla will only provide an unlimited warranty for backup and self-consumption. We couldn't find anywhere in the warranty language about normal degradation rates. Without that, it's hard to know what this unlimited cycles means. Regardless, all of this boils down to a single fact. The warranted cycle life of the Tesla Powerwall is calculated to be 23 cents a kilowatt hour. Zonin's latest battery currently achieves less than 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Therefore, over the lifetime of the battery, Zonin is cheaper to operate. But that's only one reason that I think the Zonin comes out on top. The Tesla is big, but the Zonin is smart. Zonin has found a way to circumvent the price war by offering ways to save its customers more money in the home rather than on the battery itself. The Zonin battery is more of a full stack energy solution than a battery. The Zonin Energy Manager is an intelligent software that learns your daily habits, building your energy profile, and optimizing your entire household to save you money. It can turn off the lights when you're not home, turn on the dishwasher during the day to maximize self-consumption, and switch on the air conditioner before you get home. By connecting smart plugs, you can also manually switch on and off appliances using the Zonin app. It will also predict your energy three days ahead by looking at weather events so that you always have the right balance of power. The Zonin app will also allow you to connect to Zonin's secret weapon against its competitors, a tried and true peer-to-peer -peer energy trading network. Yes, sell power to your neighbors. Peer-to-peer -peer energy trading means that you can export and sell power to anyone and everyone connected to the grid, or at least your local network. What's so exciting about this is that it means you can get cheaper rates when you need to draw power from the grid and make a surplus when you have excess electricity without ever needing the help of an energy provider. Zonin is the first and currently the only company to successfully create an ecosystem like this and they call it the Zonin community. Zonin owners are currently trading power in Germany, receiving lower rates. I've spoken to a US regional representative who said they will be looking to implement this in the United States. They've already taken the first step towards doing that and partnered up with a new home development. In conclusion, if we were to look at the Powerwall and the Zonin as traditional batteries, then hands down, the Powerwall wins. But they are not traditional. They are essential computers with a much better battery life than your MBP by combining a better cycling life, advanced management technology, and the Zonin community, it seems obvious why Zonin has been so successful and a clear winner in this battle of the batteries. What's your opinion? Is the zoning competitive to the Powerwall? Let us know in the comments. And of course, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share it with your friends.